Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today I want to talk about all of the free Warframe codes that are in the game. So, for the most part, Warframe promo codes that are in the game that are like always active will just give you something like a profile picture glyph, right? Like a content creator glyph. But once in a while they do have promo codes that pop up that will give you things like boosters and cosmetics, things like that, right? But today we're just gonna go over all of the promo codes in Warframe and get some sweet, sweet loot. If you didn't know, you can also input promo codes over at warframe.com slash promo code instead of putting it in the in-game market, but we're gonna just do it all in-game through the in-game market. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now, as I said before, most of the codes are always pretty much just gonna be random glyphs for content creators and things like that. You can just go redeem code down here, right? And there is actually an insane amount of codes. So the Parvos code is one time only, and it will give you the big Parvos hand statue. I will just show you that one right there. That one, I believe, is always available and always working. So if you want to go for that, it's just Parvos, you get that sweet hand statue, and yeah, I mean like it's a orbiter decoration, not much else. Other than that though, we're just going to go down the list and see which creator codes still work. If you didn't know, I will be going down, ya boy, the pro game guides list. They update it, I believe, once a month, and you know, it's pretty good, but again, all of the general reoccurring glyph codes are just like Warframe content creator glyphs. So let's take a look, see how many actually still work. Now, I don't think Admiral Baru like plays the game too much these days, noise, but his still works. There's gonna be a million creators here that I have no idea about, but that's how it is, nice, nice. I wanna get my cute puppy glyph in game. That's uh, That's the plan. Okay, that one still works. This is gonna take a while because I think there's actually a ton of Warframe content creators. Oh, hell yeah. Look, look at that glyph. Yeah, no, we need to get the, we need to get a Ruben glyph in game because goddamn, goddamn would that be adorable. Noise, noise. There's a, I feel like I, that's a parent sequence styled, right? Not crazy. Then we have I think this is Super Saiyan 3 styled. Yep, 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 yep. Goku 707, you know, math checks out. Actually, math checks out. We go, we <laughs> on the angry unicorn. <laughs> There's probably just such an insane amount of glyph codes in the game. So this is probably gonna end up being a pretty long video because we are just gonna do it one by one because I myself have never collected any glyph codes. So we're just gonna do that today. And just cat. Yeah. So yeah, again, if there are ever any sort of glyphs that I get because I become a Warframe content creator partner, like next year if I apply, uh, I'll let y'all know. It'd be cute to have a little pupper glyph of co of course. No, 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 words are hard. Okay, we got Ashisogi Tenno. Is that just his regular, yeah, okay. It's just his regular profile picture. Yeah, there's just, there's so many because we're just on the A's, right? This is a alphabetical list. Avelina. Avelina. Oh, that one's actually really pretty. Nice. So, yeah, we'll get through it eventually. But hey, we'll just casually take a look at everything. Ooh, that one's pretty. There are a lot of cool content creator, uh, to be fair, glyphs that are out there. I just want mine in game so that I can have a, a Corgi in Warframe. So, because they're not giving us the Corgi skin or any of the Warframe Kubros, I should say. Brazil Community Discord, noise. Oh shit, that's actually really cool. Like, that's actually really nice. Huh, I didn't know that was a thing. Either way, 10 out of 10 would recommend. God, I think it's crazy to me that we're only on Bs and I think I've already done like 20 codes almost. And we got Brozymes. There's so many. And we're gonna keep going through it. Burn box. Oh god, the ti the giant like anime head. Ah. Anime head scary. Just like anime eyes. Terrifying. Oh, this is a pretty cool one. Squared Cephalon. 
Yeah, that's, that's a weird thing about uh, creator glyphs in Warframe. There's such a wide variety of them. Like, a lot are, like, cool profile pictures, and then you have, like, straight up, like, pictures like that, which looks like it could be an in-game glyph. It's a very interesting time. That's why we need Ruben. We need corgis. They See? Is that a, is that a kitty cat? Or a pupper? I, I legitimately don't know. It looks like a crazy kitty cat because the ears... And the no, it looks like a cat to me. Oh, and the eyes. Yeah, of course it's a cat. God damn it. God damn it. They had cat eyes the whole time. Char. Ooh, nice. There are so many of these glyphs. I haven't ever done this, right? That's why I'm like, eh, it's about time. Oh, that is terrifying in a good way. Oh yeah, Co Carnage. I know he's not like big playing the game right now. I'm pretty sure he just checks out the random updates and things like that because Ko's a Ko's a pretty big streamer like a variety streamer I believe noise that's a pretty glyph dude there's a lot of cool glyphs more than I thought more than I thought oh he's a little tiger he's a cute little tiger oh my god is this conclave discord oh dear lord that's a thing I didn't know that was a thing that's slightly terrifying Hail Conclave. Hey, copy Kavat Glyph. Beautiful. Yeah, that one's really nice. Dude, we're only on C. Captain Kim Glyph. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to edit through this video as this is going to take quite some time of copying over and pasting glyphs. Oh, that one's pretty. But that's okay. We'll get through there eventually. Daster Creations. Noise, oh. Oh damn, that's a very, very colorful, I think it was a Titania. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, the black on this one, I feel like the fact that this glyph's black just makes it blend in weird with Warframe. Probably looks fine as a glyph up there though. But it just looked weird being all black from the, that screen, right? Like, white looks better and like just meshes better with Warframe's dark UI. Well, for me at least. That one's pretty, I actually really like that little, little daemon. Little demon, little spooky, spooky demon. Okay, we're getting through the list, right? We're making a good chunk. We're on the D, so I mean, yeah, we're on the D. It's official. It's just, yeah, just take that what you will. <laughs> God damn it! A <laughs> hey, dealy frame. No offense, but I always hate uh, boring glyphs that are just like initials. I'm sorry guys, they're just so boring. There was a, there was a weird amount of people on like YouTube who had profile pictures, and I think I, mine was at this one point, that was just like, an initial. They're always like, so lazy, but might as well do them when you're like, early on, right? Oh, DK says a pretty cute glyph. Just cause like, I remember, I think my old Pupsker one, it was just, it was just a big old P. And you know what? That one was not as adorable as the Corgi. Corgi for life. Yeah, mostly the glyphs though are pretty nice. Oh shit, look at that. Look at that, pretty as hell. El Danker. Oh shit, that's a really cool glyph too. Like the different style and quality of glyph pictures is always amazing to me. Cause you have like things like these, which will be more like mine, right? Like a little little sticker kinda. And then you have like full on art, and then you have stickers. Heh <laughs> cat butt. Either way, crazy times. If you ever want to find emojis for content creators and all of the glyphs, you can just straight up Google it, as I said before, right? Because all of these glyphs are on like every website. Oh, that one's pretty. So it's really like not hard to find them. A lot of, uh, a lot of places try to update them every month or so. Noise, noise. So, hey. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, faceless beanie, fashion frame is endgame. Look at this, beautiful, that's actually really pretty. See, these are like the prettier glyphs, IMO. There's so many pretty glyphs. I'm, now my profile is gonna have just such a fuck ton of glyphs in it, oh my god. Oh, uh, there's gonna be so many glyphs. There's gonna be so many glyphs. Oh well, that's fine. That is a-okay. 
we're just gonna keep going hard. The never-ending struggle to obtain every glyph code in the game. Honestly, 90% of the gift, uh, glyph codes are just Warframe content creator names. So, if there's a content creator you watch, they could always just have a glyph. And you can always just check by just chucking their name in the redeem code usually. Because hey, if I ever become a content creator, uh, like partnered with this DE, if they end up not hating me next year when I apply, yeah, I'll probably end up having one too. And of course I'll just make mine, oh hell yeah, Golden Parvo's Glyph. Of course I will be making mine public completely. Because why wouldn't I? Grind Heart Squad. Oh shit, we're almost, yeah, we're at H, happiness dark. Oh god. Anime as hell. We got a glyph for headshot. There we go. Oh, that's a really cool glyph, actually. It's funny, like, the amount of glyphs in the game. Nice. And uh, the amount that, like, do not fit at all with Warframe style. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty adorable. But hey, they're in game, so whatever. Hydroxate glyph, nice. Now we are on to I, so we got your boy, Iflin's Glyph, and then we have even more. Yeah. I cry, no pupper glyph. I just want in-game corgis, okay? That's all I ask. Is that is that so hard? Is that so hard to ask for? Just in-game corgi kubros. I didn't think so, but no, apparently it is. God damn it, the never ending struggle to get all of these glyphs. Uh, I didn't realize how long this would take and how many glyphs there would actually be in game. So that was my bad, 100%, 100%, that was my bad. But I mean, other than that, at least we're getting a lot of glyphs, right? Ooh, that one's really pretty. Kavat Schrodinger. Yeah, no, that one was actually really pretty. I like that one. Oh, King of Thalion? I don't know, he was Warframed content creator. To be fair though, a lot of the partnered Warframe content creators, or I think some of like the bigger ones, are just kind of like there still just because I think they covered Warframe for a while and then just come back to it once in a while. Yeah, which makes sense. Cause like, dear God, it's hard for a lot of people to know life Warframe and uh, full time it. Trust me, it's hard to have no sanity constantly. But it's not too bad. Not too bad. Nice, Leo Doodling. That means we're over to Lazar Gaming. There we go. And then we have Life Water. Okay, so we're at the L's now, right? Not bad, not bad. Lexi. Da, 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 da. Slip. Ooh, that one's actually cool. I like that one. Oh, this one, this next one's really cute. Right, this one's still adorable? Hell yeah, adorable. It's it's kind of funny, the website that has these all listed, like half of the, or a good chunk of the glyphs have been swapped out, right? Because glyphs get updated here and there, so they get changed out, pictures swap. Because I, I think not everyone makes it their profile picture. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude, that, that, that thing will cut you. I'd be careful. Has the hidden blade, much like Ruben. There we go. I wonder how hard is it for a creator to update their glyph, and if it just like updates all of the glyphs in game. Nice. Or if it like adds it as a new glyph. I would assume it up updates like all of the glyphs. Nice. I don't know though. I just do not know. Pretty pretty glyphs. Pretty pretty glyphs. Mike the Bard. Oh, nice. There we go, Miss Wuffy. Da 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 da. I wonder how many uh, content creators and glyphs that we're looking at, Mogamu, are still like valid content creators for Warframe. Cause as you can see, there are just so many glyphs, right? I think we're there's like 50 to 100 without a doubt. I have no idea how long we've been here doing this already though. Just like copying, pasting over glyphs. But yeah, I wonder how many active Warframe content creators there still are. Cause like, I feel like a decent chunk of these glyphs may be like from old content creators and such, but there's like, there's too many Twitch streamers and YouTubers for me to like 
even pretend to keep an eye on, right? There's way too many. So that's why it's always like, I wonder how many, uh, how many are still content creators for the game? Oh, this is a pretty cool looking glyph. Yeah, ninja. The ninja? No, no, sorry. Oh. A different ninja. Because I assume most content creator glyphs. Oh, and then we have QT. Oh, are QTCC and QTCC2 still working? Invalid code. Okay, no, it doesn't look like these ones are still working. Right? Oh, no, they actually are. Huh. So maybe QTCC and QTCC2 might actually be working. Too many failed redeem attempts. Try again later. Okay, Warframe. What the hell? There were like two, three failed promo codes. That's so fucking rude. What in, what? Why would you do this to me? Okay, can I do it again now? Oh my god, this is so weird. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. Game is like, ew, fuck you, you failed two in a row? Who the fuck do you think you are? Get out of get out of here with that shit. So I was getting ready to pop open the co promo code like website. Damn. Hey, trainman. I did not know that. I did not know that. Yeah. Rainbow waffle. It's a waffle, that's a heart. It's a lie. A little dusty pinky. Do do do. Relentless Zen. Yeah, because I feel like most content creators at this point for Warframe, like a lot of them are just like chill streamers, but I don't spend a whole lot of time over on the, the Twitch Warframe directory because, I mean, I just don't watch a lot of Warframe content because Warframe is too much of my life. Dear God, the last thing I'd want to do is watch Warframe content creators constantly while I create Warframe content and stream it. No, 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 no. My sanity would be gone, okay? Warframe consumes too much of my life. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, a K-Drive based glyph? Okay, we're just, we're gonna have to have a talk. We are definitely gonna have to have a talk. Ooh, r slash Warframe. Nice, that's actually really cool. That one's adorable. Yeah, as you can see, fuck ton of glyphs. I think we're getting done almost. Wait, how, how close are we to being done? Yeah, we're like a decent amount of the way done, okay? Decent amount of the way there. But, yeah, no, I just wanted to make this video so everyone's aware. Warframe has so many goddamn codes, there's so many creators there. I think, I think, I'm, I'm not too sure, but maybe like the uh, glyph codes are also for like artists and stuff like that. I always thought they were maybe only for content creators, but no, they have to be for artists and things like that too, because like there's, there's just so fucking many, oh my god. But I guess also the requirements to be a Warframe partnered content creator on the website. Overall, it's like pretty low, right? It's like what, a thousand subs on YouTube or a thousand like followers on Twitch, right? So all in all, in all that is like pretty low and inconsequential. So I guess that's fair. Oh shit, skill up. Yeah, see, like skill up's like a big YouTuber, right? But he doesn't uh, he doesn't play Warframe or cover it anymore, right? He used to do like Division Two and some other games, and then just became. Big skill up a boy. Oh, that one's actually really pretty. So I wonder, uh, wonder how often these sort of glyphs get cleaned up or... I guess if you become a big enough content creator, it's just like you keep it in-game forever. Oh shit, stripping as glyph? I had no idea about that. Holy hell, I actually had no idea dudes ever played the game. Huh, cool. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, big content creator played and covered the game and like probably streamed it for a little bit. I have no idea though the history of like any of the content creators, so it's hard to say, but yeah, there's just a lot of big content creators now that have uh, glyphs that don't play the game or aren't too active. Of course, I agree there's no point in cleaning up the glyphs, right? Because Warframe is, uh, you know, it's an eight-year-old game. People like all the glyphs. Might as well keep them in at this point. Unless someone like gets kicked for toxicity or some shenanigans like that, right? But I feel like these are the years and years of glyph code, so this is probably why there's so many by this point. Seeing how, like, I'm redeeming all of them, the, all of the ones just I never have before. Because, oh my god, there's just so many. There, there's just so many. Oh my god, we're probably been going for like 20 minutes or like 15 minutes already. What is happening? Why are there so many gift codes? Ah! 
I wish there was a faster way to redeem all of the glyph codes in game. <laughs> but no, this this had to have been done, okay? This had to have been done. There's so many glyph codes in game that I haven't grabbed. It is fucking time. We're doing it. We're almost there too. There's a lot of game and names, well not games, but names that I'm realizing for content creators and like recognizing and a lot of new ones that I've never seen before. Because as you all know, world is big. I am but but one small man who does not keep up to date with everything because oh dear god, do I not have the ability to do that? Because content creation sphere way too big. Too many content creators out there. Imagine if uh God, if I knew like 90% of these content creators, oh, that'd be terrifying knowing that many people, you know? But yeah, as always though, still curious, still curious. I think we're hitting the end here. Okay, we're getting getting to V's, Volt the Hero. Oh, I think I accidentally, motherfucker. Okay, accidentally did that there. Oh, of course, the second I fail one, it's just like, Ayo, fuck you. Let me try to do desktop. Promo code, Vault the Hero. Submit code, thank you for redeeming the code. Oh god, do I have to refresh it like this and then be like, yeah, continue. Of course I do. Is this like a white angel, but like VB? Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so as you can see, I would much rather do this in game because it's a little faster, huh? Thank you for redeeming code. Okay, let's go back, jump back to in-game, see if it's uh, willing to work now. Fuck you, game. I will fight you. I will throw hands with you, Warframe, okay? This didn't have to be... Didn't have to be this hard. Because I can't see the glyphs when I redeem them this way. That's why I don't like doing this. They really need to fix that. Holy crap, it timed out after like one time. Maybe I could relog, but it's not like it really matters. This game is goofy. Why are you like this game? No! Okay, so this is the glyph part segment of the video where we shit talk Warframe's really bad coding and just really bad like market redeem code design because I guess that's the thing. We're almost done here by the way. Limited one per customer, you already redeemed a code. Yeah, that'll keep happening. Warframe Wiki, thank you for redeeming your code. Yeah. And then we have this one, widescreen John. I am almost done. There's like four more. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you game. I just want to input my codes, but it it won't let me. It just it won't let me. Okay, Waxley, thank you for redeeming the code. Yes, yes, yes. And then each time you refresh too, it's gonna be like, well, limit one per customer. You already redeemed a code. Yeah, no shit. Warframe. Ooh. Sorry, I just had to sneeze there, so I had to mute my mic very quickly. Very, very quickly. Okay, so this should be all of the codes, almost there. Yeah, no, that should be just all of them. All of the codes right there have been redeemed. Thank you for redeeming your code. Again, I would just use like one of the first websites to pop up, things like Pro Game Guides, Dixerto, like whichever one works for you. These are all like the old codes that just won't work anymore. Okay, yeah, it looks like they do have old glyphs that they do actually end up retiring. Not a ton, though, as you can see. So a lot of the glyphs for content creators can very easily be for old content creators who just don't play the game as much or don't keep up to the game as much these days. So, yeah, throw in your codes, do all of that. I just wanted to make this video finally because I've been meaning to grab all the codes and do that. So sub, like, favorite, check out all my other's content and whatnot, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.